Uh, for the most recent season of The Voice, that was season 23. They just wrapped things up a couple weeks ago over inside of Soundstage 31. Uh, the big announcement at the end of that season, Blake Shelton, he has officially retired as one hmm. of the coaches. But it is Hollywood, so, you know, never say never. Oh, the Hollywood movies. We'll see what happens. 12, 12, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18. So I guess we'll all kind of have to just wait and keep uh, keep uh, keep our eyes out, ears open for uh, what, what the changes are going to be. Now as we continue on here, coming up over on the left hand side, you all are resting a couple more sound stages. Stage 11. Uh, these are being used for shows like Hacks, Quantum Leap, and even the show Bel Air. You just grab the water when you get some water. You put egg on on the cheese. You put cheese on the eggs on the cheese. It's mine. Whoa, how many seats do you think are in there? I'll knock down in your lap. Hmm. We could probably fit the whole Bel Air cast and crew here. No, we gotta get one of these for the mansion. <laughs> and for sure. Yo, lucky for y'all, the Big Family Mansion lives right here on the Universal lot. Right. Some of Bel Air's most pivotal scenes have been filmed right here. Jabari, what have been your most memorable moments? Oh, I don't know. I mean, there's so many to choose from. You know what? I love the four year set when Will first enters and at that moment. Yes! You know, Transformers are best. And they have the sweetest rides for us to play with. Actually, speaking of, if we're gonna get a ride like this, we better go talk to Transpo now and let these people get back to their tour. Yeah, yeah, that's how it's gonna be. Yeah. As long as I get to drive. Oh, not if. Two, three, and four. Well, NBC, you knew where it is. Off to the right hand side, it's like sounds like 16 and 17. But before they were inside of those structures, those same sound stages used to be home to this show. The Good Place. You, Ellen, and Shell Scrap. Tôi cho cha mau mũi nè Con đi cha mau phải nào mũi Ba vô con cha mau nè Continue on here. Coming up on the left hand side, you all are about to see a celebrity sighting today. That's right, we got Ted. Hey, oh, Teddy Bear, going Teddy Bear. Of course. Ted's probably celebrating the fact that there's a new TV series. <laughs> Teddy all Bear. About him, Ted, that's been filming here in our lot over the last couple months. Some very exciting news for our Ted fans. Uh, the martini glass he's holding on to back there. It's a nice uh, reference to a filming term, the martini shot. So when you're on set, you hear someone call it martini shot, you're going, yes. That means it is the last shot of the day, then you get to go home and make yourself a martini if you're a So he's just hanging outside of our production bungalow area off to the left. Uh, this is where our pre-production of the planning process takes place. In fact, uh, we're about to pass by Seven Bucks Productions. That's Dwayne The Rock Johnson's production bungalow here in our lot. Uh, Mark Platt, he's got a bungalow out here. He's very busy right now. He's working on the upcoming Wicked Productions. Uh, oh, boy, it's now we're getting it. part two. <laughs> Side of the to Mr. Today, though, that area does belong to the De La Rentes Company, so those are the folks who brought us all the show and along. Yeah, 
Okay. 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 Welcome everyone to our courthouse square area, better known as Hill Valley. Mm -hmm. We're back to the future films. Mm -hmm. Back to the future. Uh, City Hall. Uh, the clock tower, all that lead. There's a lead bump out wide. And I'm standing inside looking at the lead. And I already had the vertigo. I just thought there's no way in the world. City Hall. Well, of course I had a cable. <laughs> <laughs> now the clock tower you're seeing off to the left hand side there versus the clock tower up on your screens uh, they look very different because they are different uh, the one that we have off to the left there we've actually placed one facade or one fake wall in front of the original facade to give it a more generic look. wrong time and that's because they filmed five seasons of ghost whisper out here so they wanted to make this area not quite as recognizable to all of our back to the future fans
Everybody says a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fun. Hey, good. Can you T-Rex spit a girl good night. Ew, take now. Oh, that T-Rex spit. Car collection. Uh, Jenny, go Jurassic. Yeah. Uh, Jurassic. A bankrupt uh, fries electric. <laughs> oh, this is a uh, Fast and Furious. Visit Jurassic Park. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 
guys got spin on today. Yeah, I've seen a little bit. You're scared, so. No, baby. Don't do more things to it. You don't have it. That's it, right? 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 Water effect. So this year, we're actually going to go ahead and give you all a live demonstration today. Oh, water effect. Yeah. Oh, rainforest. Now, maybe you never watched The Good Place, but 
worries, and if you're one of my Disney fans on board the tour, you recognize this area as Genovia. For Princess Iris II, a royal engagement, where they held a princess parade for the royal wedding. Uh, this area was also featured, if you remember, in the late 90s, Disney did a movie of the version of Cinderella starring Randy, Wendy Houston, Wendy Goldberg, they used our town center area for that production. And at Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean, they filmed a whole bunch of scenes out here as well. And then honestly, what this area is really well known for Also filmed here in our lot, it just filmed a little further in our back lot area. But it's a cute show, uh, it's on Peacock. Now, for those of you who've been on the tour in the past, you might be thinking to yourselves right now, Katie, wait a second, what about Earthquake? Well, it's off to the right hand side, but it's actually right, undergoing a really huge doing? refurbishment right now, which means we're going to take you all down a street that we rarely ever get to go down. So, welcome to our Denver Street location. Uh, I like to explore this area since I'm from Colorado originally, but uh, no, Denver does not really look like this nowadays. Uh, but our Denver Street, essentially, it's like an extension of our Six Points area. It's one of our western streets as well as kind of our storage area for a little bit right now. Uh, but our Denver Street area, fantastic location for bar brawls to take place. A lot of duels and fights have taken place out here over the years, and that's because a lot of the materials that we're seeing are not exactly what they appear to be. So, for example, up on your screens here where this guy's about to get pushed through this glass window, that's not actual glass. That's what we call candy glass, which is like a flimsy breakaway material where it's not actually going to harm our actor, but it's going to look really great on film. And then like a lot of our woodwork, stonework, brickwork, a lot of that's foam rubber. So if one of those cowboys gets pushed violently up against one of those walls, they can literally bounce right off that wall. <laughs> out of six different streets, including Denver Street. They're all equipped with their own first department. So back in the day, we could film up to six different movies out here at one time. And that's because most of our Western films are yeah. silent films. <laughs> so that our founder, Carl Lemley, who's a set of these band stands, and for 25 cents, you the can the cowboy. Yeah, I'm not so the good guys, we went his from the bad guys. Most of our business from the bad guys. Oh, no, I got this close. Oh, oh right danger, go danger. Still a little bit of trauma from that whole flash flood scenario we went through a little earlier here on the tour. So at this point, oh, we're going to make it up to you right now. We are about to take everyone on a nice little vacay. Welcome, everyone, to Amity Island. It's a small thing to tell. Don't worry. We have got that great white man eating shark jaws. He's hanging out, yeah. literally. I'm on the right hand side of the trail. In fact, my friend George, he's one of these divers out here. Oh, 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 Beach clothes. Mama. Slam a lot, slam a lot. Oh, you know, folks, no worries. We're just going to go a little further here. We're going to hide behind these flammable gas tanks. I bet that is definitely going to be the next day this place where we can hide. Okay, hopefully, whatever's out in the water will take the bait and attach.
Ganha, vai. Bruce said that salt water, he also hit the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean floor. That's a bunch of malign sharks. The shark was frustrated. It didn't really work all the time. It didn't work perfectly at all. Wherever we were on the island, we were always saying, We just went into the ground. We just went into the ground. The sharks were rolled up for a while there. Capture here. Look at the shark. And that's your Tinder Nigger Wave Hill here. Coming up. That's Brett's housewife. Yeah, Brett's housewife. Before we actually call it Colonial Street. For example, on the left there, that lilac colored house, that's actually 1313 Mockingbird Lane. That's where he filmed the original Munsters TV series. Right next to that bright yellow house. Uh, for those of you who are watching the show Never Have I Ever, that's where the main girl, Davy, that's where her character lives. Then we've got this slate gray colored house with that red front door there, this big side yard area. That was featured in the very last episode of Superstore. Uh, it was a big barbecue scene that took place out there. And then this area is actually closed off to the studio tours here. 400 acres land space or Again, the one about this is a little bit of 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 Popular use of this neighborhood is car commercials. We've got this nice turnaround point here. It tends to showcase those cars quite nicely in a very traditional looking neighborhood. And most of the homes that we're seeing out here today, most of these homes, uh, they're either facades, so just the fronts and sides, or they're shelves, meaning they're all four walls, but nothing inside. So for the most part, we're just using this neighborhood for those exterior shots. Uh, if we were to film inside of one of these homes, basically, we're having our actor go up to that front door. They're starting to open the door. We're waiting for the director to yell, cut. And then everything else that's filmed inside, that's all going to be built inside of the sound stage. And then we're going to edit those two scenes together so that way it looks like it's one continuous location. So I do apologize if I'm breaking some parts today. You can't actually work on this area. But it's still well good that you get a chance to explore this area on the studio tour. In fact, let me go ahead and show you a couple more quick examples on your screens of other productions that have used this neighborhood here over the years. The Burbs with Tom Hanks. Cast for the Friendly Ghost. See, the house no, the house no number. Lại mình lấy cốt, lấy cốt đây đầu năng vậy không? That show filmed on location in Canada. They just did a really great job of recreating what that Bates Motel looks like. And then as we continue to make our way up the hill here, we're going to be passing by that original Psycho house. The house consisted of only two walls, and then something happened in 1964. We started the studio tour, so then we added on two more walls. Now it's going to call a show. Uh, so again, all four walls, but the other rock and roll chair. Plain side. Spectacular set we have here on the Universal Backlot. Welcome everyone to Steven Spielberg's crash site from the War of the Worlds. And this is an actual Boeing 747 that was specifically destroyed for this set. 
first sites. It was carbon museum of a site that was all designed around the vision of the state. Yeah, you sit down and talk about the world. Well, I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big world? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. I can't go back. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Thank you. 
We're with peers. FBI, don't move. Bill, that's right, party's over. You know how long I took to iron this shirt, man? I'm, I'm not. You're under arrest right now. Ladies, just, just back up a little bit. Got it. It's like that. First of all, I don't work for you. Oh, really? Well, tell me, Roman, who do you work for? We don't work for nobody. Cop, I suggest you clear out of here, otherwise we can't guarantee your safety. Guarantee my safety? I'm the one holding the gun. Yeah, but mine's a whole lot bigger than yours. Um, escort this novice out. Is that for Rock? Let's go, Cookie Puss! You got an ugly suit on, man. It's cheap. Somebody out there really pissed off shot. It's gonna get ugly fast. Yeah, don't worry. Lucky for you, our whole family will protect you. Are you kidding me, Roman? You didn't shut off your phone, bro? I gotta call you back. I'm just, I'm in another zone. Sit on top of the Call room. you back. Yeah. It was on vibrate. Sure, I'll trace this. I just can't hold you forever. Letty, Roman, we're up. <laughs> Driver, move that vehicle. It's about to get real interesting.